think that a further argument needs to be given, right, for why um, permitting such an evil um, is morally permissible. I'm sorry that I, um, I mean, so, so, you know, here's my worry. I mean, people who make arguments against, um, you know, so, so, so you seem to be sympathetic to the view that some sorts of actions are, are, are intrinsically morally wrong, right? One way of making this case for this saying, well, the reason why some acts are morally wrong is because it's wrong to intend some evil, right, intend it, even if some greater good gets realized as a result. But it seems like the argument that you, that you gave here, right, would show that that kind of argument couldn't work. You say, well, doesn't, you know, doesn't the fact that you accept that there could be a worse evil, right, um, commit you to the view that you should be willing to intend something very, very bad, uh, even for the sake of bringing it um, uh, so forth? Do you forth. mean that, um, are, you, are you saying that I didn't bring into th that discussion anything about intrinsically wrong actions? No, what I'm saying is that why doesn't the argument that you give sort of rapidly generalize Right, so that so that it could always be permissible, right, to perform some action uh, well, like carrying some greater good. What I meant, I thought I said uh, that. I don't know where that page is, but I thought I said that um, this only applies. Maybe it's just in a footnote, but it, that that it only applies in cases where the act isn't intrinsically wrong. It wouldn't apply there. Well, what, so. So the person who holds that God wouldn't permit that is claiming that this is something that's intrinsically wrong, right? Oh, okay. so the mere fact that, that you could bring yeah, about but, some greater so, good so as a result. So to deal with that, then I brought in uh, P1 and P2. Okay. And I see. So you're so, um, and I said I brought in P1 and P2. None of these things we know of. So 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 P1 says there's always there are worse things than the worst things we are, we're aware of. It's and I say that's true, but you still yeah. shouldn't permit those evils, even if there yeah, are worse evils. I see. Um, right. And all I have to say there is uh, so. It's, well, <laughs> not much. Uh, all I have to say there is that I, I drew the analogy with the cancer case and said, look, um, I just said it doesn't seem like when they get a lot worse and there's still this huge difference that duty's going to come in and make it so that God couldn't do it. If that's what it comes down to, um, that we can just see that God ought not to do that, it's one of the intrinsically wrong things, then I don't have anything to say about it except I don't think so. so. Okay, thanks. All right, good point. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and just stretch a minute or two. You've been so patiently waiting there, so go ahead. Okay, this will be quick. Uh, so this is about the, the move from M to M star. Mm -hmm. So the clauses in M, A through C, are reasonably well connected. In fact, quite well connected. You've got uh, consequences we can reasonably expect and then value we can reasonably expect because of the consequences. Right. Uh, but when we move to M star, we get reasonable connection. And then I'm not so sure how we reasonably expect value from reasonably connecting consequences, specifically if the consequences that we've reasonably connected are of the 1B variety, where we really have no idea how likely it is. How are we supposed to determine what value we can reasonably expect from those actions. Yeah. We can't. That's why we agonize. How do we end our agonization? <laughs> well, if I were in that case, I wouldn't know how to agonize it. I would just agonize and do something. I don't know what I'd do. So, so M star isn't meant to be a decision procedure that enables you to know what to do in every case. I'm just describing what I think normally happens. And I think what normally happens in the agonizing case Steve described or Artsky described is that we don't know what to do, but we do something. Uh, and M doesn't really, or M star, those things don't really help us because we can't, we, the whole problem is we don't know what the reasonably expected value comparisons are uh, of going one way, you know, amputating versus uh, a going, so. Okay, yeah, I'm just curious because we have this, uh, we morally ought to, and then it seems like A through C are going to tell us if we follow them what well, we Well, they'll tell us what to do, do in certain circumstances. Uh -huh. They'll tell us that we, um, A, says, A says we ought to do some considering for an appropriate length of time. B and C tell us what we'll do if this and if this. But they don't tell us what to do if we can't tell whether it's significantly worse or significantly okay. better. Okay, please join me in thanking both our speakers. <laughs>